So greetings from the Horseshoe Trail here in Pennsylvania once again. This is where I left off in our last video went hiking the Horseshoe Trail. Right here at this busy intersection with Route 113, Route 113 and a road that's also called the Horseshoe Trail Road. But we're going to move on from this point. I'll show you the map a little bit later. I just want to get away from this bit of louder traffic noise area. Then we'll get on going. But today is Saturday, uh, October 8th. I almost said September 8th, but we are in October. So let's uh, work at the pack on. We're going to head on down. All right, so we'll leave Naomi here and we'll head on down the trail. Yes, it's a road walk to start out with. See the orange blaze on the tree over there. And it is another chilly day here in Pennsylvania. Yesterday was actually really nice, but today's a bit chilly again. Maybe a high of only in the 50s. But it's not raining today. I think our last horseshoe trail hike, uh, we had some issues with some rain. Plenty of sun today. Just some chillier temperatures. Got some beautiful horses out here. Got a black one. Several, several up there too. Yeah, more, more horse farms here in Chester County. It is a nice day though. I can see the, the colors. I can see some of the colors starting to pop a little bit. So and change, even up out that way. We're not, we're not in a peak season yet for fall colors, but we're getting there. Another horse over here. Some cool scenery though. All right, but if you look up here on this telephone pole, make sure cars are coming. You do have the double blaze. I keep pointing that out in these videos, but it is important when you're following trails, though. The double blaze. The one on the top, veered to left, means the trail will head off this way. So we're going to get off the road a little bit. Just for a little bit, I think. What is this? What is this? This is the oil painting for anyone who likes and wants it. My materials, such as paint, please send me $125. I would greatly appreciate it. If not, please leave this painting for someone else. Huh. That's interesting. It is a nice painting, but I'm not gonna pay $125 for it though, I don't think. So we'll just leave it there. It's kind of interesting. Interesting way to sell your art. Right here along the horseshoe trail. There's a, what's this? Yeah, the trail continues on up though. You can see the yellow blades, but they have a, a hiker rest area in here. Let's check it out. I'm not sure what that means. I don't really see. Maybe there's something up here. Just an area to. Or maybe that means you can camp here? I don't know. Don't take my word for it, but. Oh, there's some trash down there. There's like an old fridge down there and stuff. I guess it just means an area that you can come and rest here. I'm not sure if you can camp here or anything like that. I'm pretty sure this is private property, but they have like a little sign there for a camper, uh, for a hiker rest area. But I think we'll, I just started to hike, but I think I will rest here in a bit. I'm gonna show you the map. There's a nice quiet spot to show you what the plan is for today. Now we're away from that highway back there where we started. All right, so here is our map. It should look a little bit different because we are now on map number two, left map, map number one behind, finished that one. So we are right here, right here is Route 113. We left Naomi there. They we're actually up right in here already, I believe. So the plan is to hike out this way somewhere. I'm not sure how far we're going, that's 2.4 miles, 4.7. I don't think we're making it all the way over here, uh, but maybe around here somewhere. So roughly 
uh, possibly four miles we might do today. Unfortunately, a lot of this is road walking. Looks like there's some sections that are on and they go off. Here's an off-road section. But if you look over here, I don't know if you can tell on the map, but all of this mostly is off-road. So there's a lot more off-road hiking coming up. I think this is Warwick County Park. And on map number three is French Creek State Park. So there's some more non-road hiking in our future. It's just this might be the just a lot in this section, but it is what it is. And to be honest, these road walks on the Horseshoe Trail, most of them haven't been too bad. Most of them are out here in the country with all these horse farms and everything. It's a beautiful day. The weather's beautiful. The fall colors are coming. So road walk on a road walk or not, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy it today. All right, let's get back to the trail. Yeah, beautiful farm. Anyway, this will probably, I think in a little bit, we get back up with the road here again. All those yellow blazes. Oh yeah, I see it way up there. I can see a sign for it. There, there's an old spring house over there. Looks like there's a sign there for it. They got no trespassing signs too though, so uh see I think we can take a look at it. This says no motorized vehicles, let's check it out though. Let's see what it says. There's a sign here for it. What does it say? Root cellar, root cellar, root cellar circa 1760. Root cellars or cave ground cellars, as local settlers called them, were used to store fruits and vegetables to keep them from freezing in the winter. Cool. There you go. Yeah, we got some splashes of orange color in the trees over there. But soon the whole forest will kind of look like that. There's oranges and yellows and reds. Anyway, I see a double yellow blaze up here again, so I think we're going to be heading off trail. I mean off trail, um, off road here in a moment. Probably still be paralleling the road. Yep, on this telephone pole right up here. So we'll look for somewhere over here. Yeah, so there are some yellow blazes on these trees. So I believe the trail takes us down this way. So following the road, at least we're not walking on the road, I guess. Walk under these pine trees. Got quite a few mushrooms growing here, almost like a ring. Cause there's one, one there. And yeah, you see it goes up there and then there's one up that way, one out there. This is what they call a fairy ring. There's a ring of mushrooms growing. We just learned about that this past week in my biology class, the fairy ring. Yeah, the grass tends to be a little bit greener, right where the mushrooms are growing in the ring, just because mushrooms are decomposers, so they're decomposing the organic matter, like the, the grass clippings and things like that, and releasing the nutrients into the ground, which the grass benefits from too. And every year the ring gets bigger, grows out more this way, because they've used up the organic matter in the ring, so the following year they have to grow out a little bit more. Yeah. They called it fairy ring because back in the day, you know, people thought if you would come out here at night and sit in the fairy ring that you would get, you know, a visitation from, you know, certain creatures, I guess. Is 
that's kind of cool. Like I said, I was just talking about that on Wednesday and Thursday this week. My biology classes, fairy rings. Now we can see one today. <laughs> Well, that last road walk I did was definitely the longest of the trail so far. But I knew it was kind of, I knew it was going to be that way from looking at the map. So, you got to take with the good, you got to take the good with the bad sometimes though. Kind of still walking next to the road, but just in a more wooded area now. Okay, so just stopping to take a little break, check the map out, then we'll have a little bit of snack. Got the peanut butter and honey with sea salt cliff bar. Not sure if I've had that one before yet not I didn't bring a peanut butter and honey sandwich so we'll try a peanut butter and honey cliff bar and see how that tastes I'll let you know a little bit later we started here I think we're currently up in this area right here right now and then I'm playing at least go up into here maybe down here or up in here somewhere we'll see so we're up here we've come quite a ways already so not too far to get into here as well Next time we start, we'll park here and do this section from this direction. All right, so snack is consumed. Peanut butter and honey cliff bar. A little bit sweeter than I was expecting and not quite as, and not quite as uh, peanut buttery as I was expecting. But it was still good though. All right. Keep this journey going. Yeah, it's one of those days where when you start hiking, it's kind of chilly. And then as you get going, you warm up, especially when you're in the sun. Heats up a little bit. Then when you're walking in the shade like this, or you sit down to take a snack, it cools off quite a bit. Or, or you do. You know what? No deer yet on this section of the Horseshoe Trail. I think we've seen deer on every video I've done so far, the Horseshoe Trail, but not on this one yet. Yeah, speaking of Horseshoe Trail, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I saw some horses coming. Hey. Yeah, I guess he's giving them a, a horse ride, horse carriage ride. on the road again. All right, so we got the double yellow blazes ahead again, so we're gonna take this smaller side road that goes off this way now. It's called Hollow Road. This is still the Horseshoe Trail Road. Now that's not the same Hollow Road we were on before. It's a different one. This is gonna go up this way, and this is gonna be our largest uh, off-road section of the hike. Climbing that hill back there, I believe. So we'll turn on the hollow road. And a little ways up this way, the trail will go up off into the woods. There's our yellow blaze. All right, and just up here, I see the wooden post. Just off the side of the road up here, I see a yellow blaze up there. So here's where we go off road for <laughs> quite a section here. I think we also go uphill though. All right. So if we do see any deer today, it'll prob probably be in this section. It is nice to be off-road. Yeah, I've not really seen any of our four-legged friends though.
They just keep following the yellow blazes. Get to get right up here because there are other trails. In this area, there's trails. I think there's a trail that goes up that way, but we need to go this way. Oh, there's an old, uh, cool, there's an old truck up here. That's what I love about just, <laughs> you know, doing stuff like this. You never know what you're going to come across. Check it out. There's an old, uh, there's an old truck back in there. Not super old, but there you go. Old dump truck. Since we're here, let's take a closer look. The engine's still here. <laughs> and the battery. Yeah. Doors open. I'm sure why this piece of wood is right here. Hold on a second. And then here's the inside. All the windows are windows are busted out, of course. Huh. All right. I think I'll mm, avoid taking a seat in here. <laughs> Something's been living in here. All right. Cool though. Old dump truck. You have an awesome find, though. Like I say, you just you just never know what you're gonna find on these hikes. But yeah, if you know the make and model of this, you can obviously put down a comment. I'm not sure offhand. I'm not a car person, really, or truck person. I like them, but I can't always uh, tell exactly what they are <laughs> offhand. All right, cool. We'll uh, get back to the trail, which I think was back here somewhere. All right. Yeah, here it was. All right. Farewell, truck. It's cool seeing that. All right, where's the trail gonna take us? Coming out of the woods into this area. Uh, not sure what this is out here. Some rich person's yard or a golf course maybe, I don't know. All right, we gotta go this way. All right, so this is gonna bring us down to another road which I don't remember what it's called offhand, but this is gonna take us back to the Horseshoe Trail Road where we were on earlier. I think that's where I'll stop, at least this section. I think I'll go ahead and do, do this one little last section of road walk, get that out of the way. The more I do on this hike, the less, less I have to do on my next section. So and it's a beautiful day to be out, so. Horseshoe Trail. Oh, this is just a gravel road. So is this the... They don't have any blaze marks anywhere. Um, oh yeah, I see him up there on that telephone pole up there. So this is just a gravel road. Okay, there's a, there are double blazes on a telephone pole. So I think the trail is gonna take off this way. So I don't know, maybe this isn't the road I was thinking. Maybe we're still gonna keep going this way. Oh, we'll see. Okay, yeah, where are we going? Okay, so, oh, so the trail goes. All right, so I'm not at the road yet, I was thinking. All right. And it's poke berry season too, once again. Got these purple berries. They're not edible, they are toxic, but you have to eat like a lot of them in order to uh, 
experienced fatal results of eating them. But generally speaking, they are not edible. They make a mess though. When the birds eat those and then like poop on your car, it's that bright red stuff <laughs> that's coming from those berries. So we're just gonna walk along the cornfield for a while here. We'll take that. All right, so this down here must be the road I was thinking of earlier. This too is a gravel road. Horseshoe trail. Yep, I see a yellow blaze on that tree there. Some cool, like rock art, like a fence there. Yep, so there's a yellow blaze. So we're gonna, yeah, go ahead and go down this road to the Horseshoe Trail Road. Might as well, like I said, knock this section out too. Makes for a longer walk back, but we'll do it. Nice old building. Got another free pile. We had one of these in an earlier video. Okay, got a coffee maker. <laughs> Some old floor vents. Okay. Yeah, on that tree they have the uh, yellow horseshoe. You can see it there. I think when they first made the horseshoe trail, it was marked with symbols like that. All right, so I've been coming up this road a little bit, this gravel road. There's another sign here for the horseshoe trail going off this way. Um, and this is not the road I was thinking of either, actually. There's been a reroute from what's on the map. So I think I'm debating, I'm gonna check the map again. I might actually stop here. I need to check what time it is. I think we're going quite a bit. Yeah, it's two o'clock, so I've been going for two hours. Um, so that's about four miles, actually. Let me show you on the map. All right, so once again, we started our way over here. Did quite a bit of road walking on and off. Then we got here. This was Hollow Road. Then we went up into the woods. Here's Davis Road. This is what I was looking for. So I think that one road we saw earlier was Davis Road. But it's been rerouted. All we, went, we crossed all the way over through here. And what we were on was called Jamie, Jamie Road. So we're over in here somewhere. So I think I'm going to save... I'm not sure if this... Yeah, so I think I'm going to save this for when I do the next section, because I do have quite a ways to go back, like I said. I've been doing it for two hours already. So I think it's a good place to, to call it quits. Well, for this that's the one thing i got to consider for the way I'm hiking, a horseshoe trail. You know, I, I, I do the section, but then i got to go back to where I parked initially. So I think, so i got about a two-hour hike back. So I think this would be a good place to, to call it a day for this section, I guess. Yeah, so fortunately, I do have internet service in this area, so I was able to get on Google Maps and check things out. Like I said, I was looking for Davis Lane, but I think we passed that quite a ways over. Oh, dog. So, making my way back, I'm probably, I'm not heading back the same way I came. If you take a slightly different route back. But if we see anything along the way, besides barking dogs, I'll, I'll show it to you. I haven't seen any deer yet, either. Got dogs everywhere now. All right, I think right down here is the Horseshoe Trail Road again. We've got one of those woolly bear caterpillars. What's that how it goes? It's got a lot of brown on it. I forget how that goes. But if it has a lot of brown, it's gonna be a harsh winter. Not very good. There's a car coming, but anyway, there you go, woolly bear. I'll just sign a fall too. All right, so almost done. Up there is the intersection with Route 113. It's about 3:30, so it took me about an hour and a half for the return trip back. Hopefully uh, Naomi is still up there waiting for us. We'll see in a moment. And I can see her, at least the front of her poking up out there. So she's still here. All right, but that'll be it for me today on this hike. And as always, thanks for coming along and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>